What is up, everybody? It's your boy TV today, and it seems like Xbox has finally announced a showcase for this month to show up their most recent exclusive games coming out, their first party games. And it seems like people still aren't happy about this, which is very odd because for the past few months, people have been saying, Hey, Xbox, show us what's happening with your games, give us some release dates, give us more details, etc. etc. But now that they're finally doing a showcase, telling you the exact date when they're doing a showcase on which games they're doing a showcase for, people are still angry, which just makes it's just mind boggling. So, <laughs> it just seems to tell me though. So, whatever Xbox does, whether they're be in the dark whether they give you all this information people are still going to complain about what they do so but for people who are interested the showcase is going to be on january 25th um it's going to be an extended gameplay of different of four major games forza more forza, forza motorsport redfall the Elder scrolls online and minecraft legends then there's gonna be a separate standalone show for starfield at a later date so i think this is fine if you want to see a major deep dive into these major games which a lot of people have been clamoring they've been saying they've been wanting to see but now they're getting it and they're still angry about it so i'm fine with this i want to see more about redfall as well that's one that's on the game i'm definitely anticipating this year and people don't really know if it's what type of style of game it is it's going to be like the style of borderlands is it more of the style of far cry what style of game is redfall going to be so there's gonna be more deep dive into that which like i said i'm looking forward to that the Elder Scrolls Online, that has been a massive MMO series for Bethesda for a while, so it might get some new people on board because I'm interested in that too. Minecraft Legends, I believe, is the, it's the Minecraft like RPG series that they have for a while. And Forza Motorsport is, a, is the, the same racing they have um, every other year, so keep deep dabbles into those. Uh, they're saving the best for last of Starfield and some of own showcase, so I mean, it sounds great to me, but people. Um, but not happy with it, I guess. Like this guy says, is Avowed still the game? <laughs> Once again, <laughs> another complaint as we mentioned. Is Fable being made still? Man, Xbox felt like it was on the up, but it just seems to be going down here to rapidly. As they just announced a showcase where they're showing you the games that's coming up for Xbox. It's like, the Xbox must constantly be doing more always. It's like, really... Honestly, a longer separate Starfield show will be better, even though we have to wait even longer. Uh, Starfield's a long show with Todd Howard, Literal Heaven. Redfall could come out earlier when we thought. Uh, yeah, hopefully we finally get a release date for Redfall when the game actually comes out. Is that really all they have to show at this point? I'll sell my Series X on January 26th if I can find anyone that wants it. That I, I don't know why people are still so angry about it. Like, if you are that angry, just sell your console and be done with it at that point. <laughs> like, I don't get the purpose of this. It's like, they tell you when they're doing a showcase, you saying it's still not enough. So, just sell your console and move on. I hope a lot of these complainers just do that. It's like, if you think Xbox is a bad console, it's a bad brand, then just sell it and move on at this point. Instead of just seeing the negativity constantly. God, I hope they just have much more than this. Apparently, apparently it's not enough at this point. They just need to see more and more. Like, jeez. And once again, isn't that what like E3 is for? Or the E3 equivalent that's been going on for the past few years? That's what E3 is for. You just show all your major stuff. Now, people are still complaining. They just want to see everything Xbox has. And it's like, when E3 comes around, there's going to be no announcements then. So it's like, uh, I kind of I kind of see why some people just think the gamers are in general are just kind of annoying or just like real picky or just like frustrating to deal with because... They act like there's no other major shows coming out this year, a major um, award shows or announcement shows this year that they got to focus on too. So they're not going to show you everything in this one showcase. Um, I mean, they gave you a roadmap, what you can see, but people still aren't happy with that, it seems. It's time for Xbox to step their game up. <laughs> with what exactly? Like. Uh, like I said, again, yeah, if you are that dishappy, if you are that unhappy with Xbox, maybe you just need to sell the console and move on. Maybe that's the step you just need to do at this point. No Starfield. Boring. Let's do this in a sarcastic gif. Okay. 
Look how just negative people are about this. Like, jeez. Didn't all the Forza teams only just quit because they're sick of making the same game over and over again? Where is PlayStation Xbox now has had four shows since Sony's last show? No games? Yes, no games. Okay. Minecraft and Forza lame. Yes, how dare they just don't only show games that care to you. But care. Show games that cater to a wide audience of people. How dare they? It just seems like a, a lot of whiners in this comment section, pretty much. Like, there's at least somebody positive about this. This is cool, so now we at least have a Nintendo Direct, say to play an Xbox Developer Direct. Go, go to Timeline, okay. All aboard the hype train. Yeah, I'm excited as well. Like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of games they're going to go deep dives into, which I'm actually excited to see, so. I don't know if all this negative, like, you yeah, somebody yawning and a gif. It's like, really? Are these guys even Xbox fans or are these just trolls pretending to be Xbox fans? Because I don't see if you could be this negative about Xbox. It literally announced that they're going to do a showcase to show their games, their first party games coming up, and people saying it's not enough. <laughs> um, honestly, I fully understand Xbox may not, maybe not, may not be able to show everything in a single showcase, but it's a bit disappointing that they won't have their biggest announcement in this one. Will they tell you a later date when they're going to they tell you're going to do a later date? Why do they want everything to be a one showcase? It doesn't make any sense to me. Finally, Xbox is chilling so I'm still waiting for Hellblade, but Redfall has all my attention. Yeah, so that is the reception so far from people um, from the showcase being announced. Which once again, I'm excited about this showcase. I'm definitely gonna be in tune, I'm definitely gonna be tuning in on the 25th to check out these deep dives. But I think Xbox is doing just fine right now. I understand that they can't show everything in one showcase. Kind of like they want to spread out throughout. They want to spread all of, spread out the announcements throughout the entire year, which makes sense to me. But I guess to other people, it's not enough for some reason. So definitely want to see your thoughts down below about this. Are you excited? For, are you excited for this showcase? Are you excited for the Starfield standalone showcase? Let me know your thoughts down below. Leave a like, like this video. And as always, thanks for watching and peace.